The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has finally been revealed by Samsung themselves and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So it was only yesterday we spoke about the Galaxy Note 20 and we've had more leaks flooding in overnight. Samsung finally revealed the Galaxy Note 20, we had more case leaks, screen protectors and news that Samsung can charge your phone while sterilizing. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Samsung and let me know in the comments right now if you think the leaks were correct or if you think the reveal is going to be different to what we expected. But first of all, before we have a look at the revealed Note 20, we had leaked cases from one of our favorite leakers, Ice Universe. He tweeted these yesterday to show us the difference between the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra, although it is labeled here as the Note 20 Plus. This gives us a good indication of size differences between the two and we can see the camera module is quite a bit larger on the Note 20 Ultra. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra also has a more box shaped form and that is of course because it's going to have the curved screen while the standard Note 20 will be flat. Ice Universe also tweeted the protective films for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and he advises us that there are two different forms and some details are for reference only. But the image shows us just how full screen this device is going to be and the left protector looks incredible with no side bezels whatsoever. Next up, we've got a huge mistake from Samsung as they accidentally revealed the Note 20 Ultra themselves. It was initially highlighted by Max Weinbach and it shows us the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in a stunning bronze color. It's very similar to the metallic copper colors we've seen in the past and they posted two images of the Note 20 Ultra and its color coordinated S Pen. Strangely enough, the images were posted under their official page for the Galaxy Note 8 and they were quickly taken down after they'd realized their mistake. If you take a look now, we just get a page not available error. It's great that the mistake happened though as it does confirm that the Note 20 Ultra is going to have a triple camera setup along with a laser focus sensor instead of the time of flight. This is going to hopefully solve the autofocus issues people had with the S range and unfortunately we didn't get a shot from the front of the Note 20 but we already know what that's going to look like as it's unlikely to change much from the predecessor. For those worried about their phone being clean, Samsung have also launched a phone sterilizer that also charges the device. Samsung claims that the device can kill up to 99% of germs and bacteria using UVC radiation and it also wirelessly charges at the same time. Unfortunately, it's currently only available in Thailand at a price of 1,590 Thai baht, which is about $50. Samsung are expected to make this available globally and I'll update you as soon as they do. But launch is slowly approaching for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and we know so much information way ahead of launch. Of course, we've previously had the information on the design, specs, launch date and price of the Galaxy Note 20, so we're going to run through all of it now. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this already, so just skip to the next video. But if you're new here, then hit subscribe now and we're going to get right into it. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming with a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with a punch hole selfie camera top center. While many were hoping for the in-display selfie camera, it's not going to happen and it's most likely going to be for the S range. The dimensions come in at 161.8 by 75.3 by 8.5 millimeters, which makes the Note 20 one millimeter thicker than its predecessor and significantly larger overall. One thing that you may have already noticed is a flat display on the Note 20. I'm assuming this is going to please a lot of you as one of my most complained about features in the comments is of course the curved display. You can see that on the Note 20 we've got the volume and the home buttons on the right hand side leaving the left side completely clear. If we take a look underneath we've got USB type C port, a microphone, a speaker grill and the S Pen at the far left. The SIM tray is now located at the top of the Galaxy Note 20. On the rear we've got a rectangular camera module similar to the S range and it's 38.1mm long by 21.9mm wide. Samsung are reportedly still working on these cameras so we don't have any confirmation on what they're going to be but it's expected it will contain either the HM1 or the GN1 from Samsung. We can of course see that we've got three lenses on the left with a periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash. 
You can see the back panel is curved on both edges, we've got slight curves on all corners and overall it looks like a comfortable device to hold and still a very premium smartphone. Next up we've got my favourite which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus. These renders were provided by Pigtow and Onleaks and while we have most of the details there's still some unconfirmed information. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is coming with a larger 6.9 inch curved AMOLED display and we've got a punch hole camera top center. We've had plenty of display leaks from Ross Young but he has since deleted the tweets so we can only assume there's an issue or he's been asked to remove them. We're expecting an LTPO display but again we've got the punch hole selfie camera as in display cameras just aren't ready yet. The Note 20 Plus dimensions come in at 165 by 77.2 by 7.6 millimeters, but with the trim down bezels, it is pretty much all screen. We've got the volume and power buttons on the right hand side, with the left completely smooth. The bottom layout is the same as the Note 20, with the S Pen at the far left, followed by speaker, USB port, and microphone. On the rear we've got another rectangular camera housing but you can see it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 and I have to say I much prefer this one. It looks a little bulky with bigger lenses but I actually really like these camera rings and I think it adds to the premium look of the device. We've got two cameras on the left which reportedly could be the Samsung HM1 and the GN1 and we've got the periscope lens underneath. Over on the right hand side you can see a true depth camera underneath the LED flash. Again the edges are curved on the back and overall it looks like it's going to be a great device. We still haven't had any details on the pricing and probably won't until closer to the launch towards the end of the year, but it's going to be interesting to see where they price it. The Note line is always the most premium of the range, well apart from the newly added Fold, but the S range was priced relatively high and it sold less than expected, so this could affect the pricing on the Note. One thing we do know though is that with the Note we'll get improved display, battery, camera and general hardware and of course we don't have much longer until it's going to be released. Now we're going to run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Plus but for my regular viewers you guys have already seen it so I suggest you switch off now but if you're new here then don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. Of course the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone and actually one of my favourite releases this year. We'll likely see improved design, display, cameras and more but for anyone who's missed my previous videos we're going to quickly run through what we can expect. For my regular viewers you would have already seen this so just switch off now but for anyone new here we're going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. While the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past, things have been changing lately so it's going to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20. Last year we had the Note in two sizes which were 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays. We then had a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming, I'm going to estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display. Now of course smartphone sizes are generally getting larger so phablet sizes are going to rise too. Given the success of last year's notes, I'm also going to predict that we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 20 along with a Galaxy Note 20 Plus. We haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays, but I'm going to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 and a 7 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. I'm expecting both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We're no doubt going to see an in-display fingerprint scanner along with Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. Now when it comes to the selfie camera, the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year. It's going to be interesting to see whether they stick with the punch hole camera top center or if the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether. Many are curious whether in-display cameras are going to be available for consumers and when Samsung have this technology ready. My guess would be introducing it on the Note line but unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tech and it's likely going to be something we see in 2021. When it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be called, I've got no doubts that we're going to see a rectangular camera housing. Samsung have stuck with this across their mid-range and their flagships this year, so the Note 20 should be no different. 
Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with their cameras, so I'm going to predict that we'll get a 108 megapixel isocell sensor with pixel binning technology. We'll get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities, we'll get an ultra wide angle for those wide shots, and we'll also get a 3D time of flight depth sensor. We'll also no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus compared to the standard Note 20. In the hardware department, we know the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Exynos 990 globally. We'll see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and it will of course be expandable with a micro SD card. Given the larger size, the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh, while the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be around 4300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20s are going to be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2 and it will be IP68 water resistant. The Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3.5mm headphone jack and most importantly for Note fans, it will be coming with the much loved S Pen using Bluetooth 5. We haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen but it's no doubt going to be more refined with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 and release towards the end of the month. When it comes to pricing, it will of course be an expensive device. Prices are expected to start at about $1100 to $1200 for the standard Note 20 and around $1400 to $1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus or Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be called. Given the success of this year's light models, it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line. It's a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company. We've got a huge selection in the A range, the Premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Z Flip phone. Now I have to say the Z Flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me but that's just because I see it as a little bit unnecessary. It's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for very little reason. Of course that's just my opinion though and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the Fold. Of course that's all the information and estimates we have today but as soon as any solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away but I just wanted to give you my estimations along with these stunning renders that concept artists have already brought together. As always though I'd like to know your guys thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and do you want the Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.